Hey guys, Log.Zip here. Welcome back to another mod review video. Uh, this mod review is going to be the Dishonored mod by Swoo. By Swoo. Uh, so this is a mod based off of the game that recently came out called Dishonored, which is a console game, I believe, and it focuses on a uh, bodyguard known as Corvo who has to protect the uh, Empress, but was framed for her murder. So let's get right into it. Um, mod adds quite a lot of different items to your Minecraft world. I think it's actually pretty neat. The implementation was pretty nice here. A couple of overpowered items in my opinion, but we'll get to it when we get to it. So first off is Corvo's armor, and here is the various crafting recipes needed to wear Corvo's armor. You've got the mask, the jacket, the leggings, and the boots, and you need leather and iron ingots to produce these items. I do not need that second pickaxe. Here's what it looks like on your character. Um, your dude looks abnormally happy, but I suppose if you got great joy out of killing people, you'd look pretty happy yourself. Um, you can also see we've got the pretty cool Corvo's um, sword here, and that is uh, a great transition right into the next chest right here, which is his weapons. So this is the crafting recipe required to make his sword. And again, the Dishonored mod by Swoo. And it also comes with the wheel lock pistol, which is uh, the, what you see right here. The wheel lock pistol is a ranged device, and you right click when you have it selected to shoot it. Now, the ammo is simple enough to make. You need gunpowder and an iron ingot to produce eight bullets, or if you're feeling a little bit more tasteful, you can add some blaze powder in addition to gunpowder and iron ingots to get exploding bullets, which we will test out right over here. Let's take it off creative mode real quick just to show you. So these mobs are on normal difficulty currently, so uh, that is the kind of damage that they will take. Let me see. One, oh, two, three. So in three hits it takes down a zombie. Um, now what's really neat is, uh, let me show off the exploding ones real quick here. Now if you've got both exploding bullets and regular bullets in your inventory or in your you know little belt at the bottom, it will use the exploding bullets as priority over the top. So if you're trying to conserve them, don't bring them with you. So let's see how this... Oh! Oh, <laughs> I guess it's just a little bit of a glitch. But, as you can see, <laughs> does a number on them. Cool. Uh, there is another uh, exploding item that we will get to in a little bit here, but those are the basic um, principles of the weapons here. The sword itself has the same strength as an iron sword, so I didn't feel the need to necessarily cover that too much. But they both degrade, so you'll have to make another one to go with. Now, we'll go to whalebone charms, which are actually really cool devices that you can create. Um, and here's an example. Uh, so the first whalebone charm gives you an ability to jump higher. And again, the crafting recipes are right here. I have them in my inventory already. So this first one here is going to allow me to mine faster. So just to give you an idea of current speeds, this is without using any charm. Boom. Boom. Now we will use the charm, and you should notice and increase. You get your little haste two option here. So now here's how fast you mine them. So you know, faster, not completely overpowered, but uh, definitely a noticeable difference. The second charm you can create uh, allows you to simply jump higher. So now we've got our jump boost two, and this is going to let us jump much higher. Um, you know, good for climbing mountains like the one over there. And the second one is going to allow you to hold your breath underwater for longer. Water breathing, too. Now, one thing I don't necessarily like about the whalebone charms, and some of you might disagree with me on this, but I personally like when Minecraft is, you know, somewhat difficult. And look how many uses this thing has. And each use lasts you. Like, do you hear my clicking? That's how many uses I'm getting out of this. Each use has, I believe, uh, two minutes worth of the desired effect. So. That's pretty crazy in my opinion. Now another item you're going to get with the Dishonored mod is something called a rune. And as of right now, there's only one rune available in the mod. Uh, the mod maker is going to continue to update this Dishonored mod, by the way, to include more. But this one is called Blink, and what it does is simply uh, aim your cursor someplace somewhat nearby and right click. And you get teleported right there. I think that's super useful. Um, one of the biggest obstacles of uh, getting around Minecraft is... <laughs> getting around Minecraft. Getting there fast enough, sometimes it can be a little bit tedious to walk around places, so uh, 
It kind of works similar to, I think, World Edit Mod, where you can use a compass to get super far. But um, again, it's got quite a lot of uses, and I don't necessarily agree with how many uses it's got. You don't want to make the game too ridiculously overpowered. Right, so let's get to some of the final bits of the mod that have been added. There's a remedy and an elixir. Now, of course, here are the crafting recipes to make both of these. The elixir is going to give you a potion effect, uh, or excuse me, a regeneration effect. So let me uh, take some damage right here real quick. Um, that should not kill me. So when you right click to use this, you get a regeneration 2 effect which will make your hearts go up pretty fast and it is a single use item so uh, once you've done that um, you don't have it anymore you have to make another which is good although again the crafting recipe isn't ridiculously demanding in terms of resources the second thing here is the remedy item and this is used with lapis lazula as you saw and if you look at my hunger meter it should restore five and yes it does, so it restores five immediately, which is uh, a pretty sizable amount of hunger to uh, restore. Now the final item I wanted to get to is personally one of my favorites. It's basically a hand grenade. This thing is called whale oil, and it is just a throwable item. Now we've got our other two friends over here real quick um, to, to help us experiment with this. So let's throw one. <laughs> and it just totally destroys our friends over here. Just like that. Oh, this one is resilient. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> so, um, that is a recipe that... Oh, no! You bitch! <laughs> I worked so hard on that. So, I don't know if I covered... Yeah, so the recipe for uh, the rune item, which I showed you earlier, is right here. And the recipe for whale bone... Whale oil is right here as well. Um, that basically covers the mod. Um... Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, the armor itself has the same strength as chainmail armor in currently existing Minecraft armor that is unavailable unless you use mods and such. But um, yeah, apart from that, that's basically the mod. Make sure you check it out. I, I absolutely love the uh, time the mod maker uh, put into creating this mod. It is a faithful, um, I guess, port over to Minecraft as close as possible, you know, considering the limitations. And as I've said, the mod maker plans on adding more features to this mod, so uh, I do recommend you check it out. It is fun. And uh, as for that, uh, that would be the mod review video. As always, I would appreciate it if you guys left a rating. And if you have not yet, I highly suggest you subscribe so that you can catch me along for more mod reviews and just Minecraft videos in general. But um, that's about it. Again, thank you for watching. I'm Log.Zip. I am destroying my mod review area. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.